Good morning, I'm Vergis. This is the eighth phase of polling and it is on with a, with a crucial poll between BJP and the Congress. Voting is on in seven states for Lok, 64 Lok Sabha constituencies. All eyes are of course are on Simandra. It's anyone's guess as to who will emerge victorious. Jagan's vice RCP or Naidu's TDP. Meanwhile, Gandhi Bastina Methi is also voting today and it largely expected that this time around it may not be a cakewalk for Rahul Gandhi. These are the visuals that are coming in live from the polling booths in Simandra. We have the YSRCP chief Jagan Mohan Reddy coming to cast his vote. And in fact, in Uttar Pradesh, we have Ramdev Baba, who is in fact standing in line to cast his vote for the eighth phase of the polling. Amethi is one of the constituencies which is going to see a battle of titans. It is a do-or-die situation for the TDP and the YSRCP in Simandra, especially after the bifurcation of the state. The TDP and the YSRCP are trying to make sure that they gain power in the first assembly of Simandra region after the bifurcation. For more on these election stories, I'm joined by my colleague Akshita. Akshita, what are the latest updates? Well, uh, voting has begun. It's been almost one hour since voting has begun in, in all these states, uh, Burgess. Once again, to highlight to you exactly which are uh, the states going to polls, we're looking at seven in all out of which, of course, 64 uh, Lok Sabha constituencies are up for grabs today. So, of course, uh, in all, uh, we will be looking at 897 candidates in the fray. So, their fate will be decided today. And uh, as you can see, voting is on several uh, VIPs have already turned up, which is much expected, Burgess, in the last many faces we have seen uh, that all the politicians and everyone else of course uh, to cast their vote will be there early in the morning and it is pretty much the same case this time around as well Jagan Mohan Reddy was one of the early birds to go ahead and cast uh, his uh, vote of course uh, he did in fact cast his vote uh, from uh, Kadapa he is contesting from Pulivendula Assembly constituency uh, quite clear what his intentions uh, at heart are work is there considering of course this time around while he's fielded his mother from a Lok Sabha constituency he stuck to the assembly's Uh, probably uh, to give, in fact, some wind to his chief ministerial dreams. Uh, but, of course, uh, it looks like uh, there is a lot of enthusiasm in these particular phases. as well. This is, of course, the eighth phase, but very crucial, considering, of course, that C. Mandra also plays a huge role, work is. गुस्से की सोच होती है क्रोध की सोच होती है नीच जात नहीं होती आपको लगता है की कास्ट और कम्युनिज्म का ये जो घालमिल है वो खतरनाक है Well, that was Rahul Gandhi, who is in fact giving uh, a reply to the question of whether there is a lower caste as such. And that this was in fact raked up by Narendra Modi uh, in one of his speeches where he said that the Congress was in fact looking uh, low on uh, the certain sections of the community for which he said there is only low thought and low actions. These are visuals coming from polling booths across the eighth phase of polling stations in Andhra Pradesh and in Uttar Pradesh. In the Seemandra region, we have YS Jagan Mohan Reddy coming in to cast his vote. And Baba Ramdev is seen in the queue in Uttar Pradesh. elections have reached its one of its last legs what we know at present is that states in Uttar Pradesh Bihar Seemandra region will be going for polls today 64 seats of the Lok Sabha elections will be going for polls today for more on it I'm joined by Akshita Akshita it's going to be a tight fight in Amethi 
Well, we'll come to Akshita later. It's a small technical problem over there. Well, well, we have 64 seats going for polls today. Simandar region is, in fact, one of the most important regions in the, this particular eighth phase poll. What we know about it is that YSRCP and the TDP is, in fact, going for a close contest in that region. Both of them are going for a survival fight as TDP will be looking for its... Akshita, it's going to be a tight fight in Amethi. Absolutely, Varghese. Uh, in fact, uh, all this while has always been the Gandhi bastion. There's been no question of anybody else, in fact, uh, having even a slight chance in that particular constituency. But this time, in fact, it is largely considered that Rahul Gandhi could, in fact, face some competition. Will uh, he be ousted? Well, that's a different question altogether. But uh, in all, uh, a lot of competition ahead for him. The BJP has made it very clear that this time around, they're not leaving anything to chance, that they will challenge Rahul Gandhi even in his very own constituency. Amid for generations now has been uh, the land of the Gandhis, has uh, been uh, seeing either uh, be Rajiv Gandhi, be it his father, or in fact uh, even uh, Sonia Gandhi. After that, now it's come to Rahul Gandhi, and this time around it could prove to be a potential embarrassment for them. Even if Rahul Gandhi goes on to win from the particular constituency, where he is, if he does in fact face some sort of a challenge, even the slightest of challenge, will prove to be an embarrassment for him. But uh, it could turn that way, considering, of course, we're seeing two strong candidates against him. We've seen BJP's Smriti Irani present there who has uh, risen in the ranks of the BJP, one of the most outspoken leaders of the BJP and someone who is considered uh, to also be behind uh, uh, the Chaiwala tag of Narendra Modi. So she plays a very crucial role, not just in the Saffron Party, but is expected uh, to uh, spoil the party for Rahul Gandhi. And besides that, the Aam Party has also ensured that they have one of uh, their key players and, of course, controversial leaders, Kumar Vishwas, contesting uh, from that particular constituency. So they, Rahul Gandhi definitely doesn't have it uh, easy this time around. And the question is whether the people of MIT will continue to remain faithful to Well, Akshita, we have uh, Jagan Mohan Reddy's sister, in fact, coming in for the crucial polls at Simandra. Uh, I'm hoping my mom is as good as my brother does here. The same kind of majority. Last time, Jagan Mohan Reddy won with 5,40,000. Okay, so... Akshita, we see that uh, Jagan Mohan Reddy is also in a tight battle with the TDP. How much of ground would you think that the YSRCP had would have lost uh, because of the bifurcation and also the TDP also finding it very tough to actually go to the voters and ask uh, for their vote? People are saying it will swing the TDP way. Others are saying that Vice RCB has done just about enough uh, to make it through and to defeat the TDP. So this will be a very, very interesting battle uh, to say in the least. So talking about Puli Vintal, of course, as I mentioned earlier, Vergis, uh, it's very clear that Jagan Mohan Reddy has in fact concentrated on the state rather than the country. He's made sure uh, that while his uh, mother contests uh, from a Lok Sabha constituency, he contests from an assembly constituency, making it very clear that in fact if uh, uh, if Vice RCP does win, he will go ahead and become the obvious chief minister. But also keeping that in mind, in Puliventula, uh, TDP has gone ahead and fielded uh, Ravindranath Reddy. Now, within the TDP itself, we're looking at uh, quite a bit of hesitation over his uh, name. In fact, uh, we understand that uh, there have been several people who have